safer6.co.uk sponsors of the haze out And there it is. Here we are again. Here we are again. Happy as can be. All good friends. Jolly good company. It is Thursday night. Once again, the date would be the 30th of May. The 30th of May. Hooray, hooray. The 30th of May. Outdoor nucky starts today. Only it doesn't. It's still like February. That's yeah. very poetic. Well, you live in hope, don't you? Yes. Yes. In, in this country especially. Well, tomorrow's going to be 20 degrees, so... Where? Yeah, Here. I'll see Here. that on the... Yeah. Check, 20 degrees? Check your yeah. iPhone. In check England. the weather on your iPhone, that's what it's told me. 20 degrees? 20 degrees. It's going to be 20 degrees tomorrow, that means outdoor vaping. Yes. Because there's no chance of the other. <laughs> Not while the kids are off school. No. There's a part out there. I only realise yeah. the day they've been off school. Oh no, it's shocking, isn't it? Ridiculous. Shall we do a television show? Yes. yes. Shall we do a television show about electronic cigarettes? Yeah. Yes. Shall we do a really good television show about electronic cigarettes and really stick it to Glennis Wilmot? Yes. Who thinks she's Maggie Thatcher? Yes. Because the lady's not for turning. Absolutely. You know how you get those women when you look your lads, you know where it is when you're walking about the place and you get a look at a lass and you go, you wad. Glennis Wilmot? You wouldn't. Nobody would. Welcome to the Here's Hour. All together, <laughs> one, two, three. The, the Here's, Here's Hour. Hour. Yes, we're live. Well, now, I should explain that Daz has an apology to make, haven't you? Tell everybody how sorry you are, Daz. I'm sorry, everybody. Tell them that you're really, really sorry. Into that camera there. I am really, really sorry. It wasn't my fault. I didn't know. Sorry. Do you know why he's sorry? Do you know where Glenis Wilmot's from? Where do you live, Daz? I live at Black Hall. And where's Black Hall near to? Horden. Horden, which is where Glenis Wilmot's from. I'm sad and sorry to say that she's the last from our part of the world. I cannot believe that she's been so priggish. Now, what we're not going to do is go prattling on about what happened in the Envy Committee and IMCO Committee today because effectively it was more of the same, Keith. Was it? Aye, pretty much. There was some good news, there was some bad news, but there's no real good news because there was lots and lots of bad news and basically Wilmot was there and we didn't like her. And that's the bottom line on it. Oh, oh, sorry, I've got to read this out from Ada Auger. Daz, you are dead to me now. That's what he said in chat. Just because you're from New York. <laughs> hey, it's shocking. It's you know, I've never been to Horn. You're, you're, you're not missing anything. You're not missing anything at all. Don't go. Don't go. <coughs> she, might, she might go home to visit her relatives. Yeah, she might. I mean, you wouldn't want to get close to her and get no. the Schmidt off her. Right. No, you could end up wanting to medicalise everything. Coffee. Aye. Coffee's next. Caffeine's next to be medicalised. And then butter. Oh, it's not butter, but Olivio. You know? Olivio. Olivio. Oh, hell aye. I mean, it's Olivio's reduced risk butter, you know, so it has to be a medicine. Because these are reduced risk. But it's got olive oil in it. I know it's got olive oil in it. It's got none of the nasties that butter's got in it. Extra virgin. I'd have one of them, but I think, right. where hell, she probably is one of the stop one of the day she dies, because I wouldn't. Yeah, wouldn't. And I wouldn't with his. <laughs> Shall we do something about oh, Easy? she's watching. Oh, is she <laughs> watching? Is she? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Excellent. That's what we like it. That's what we like. Love Apparently, it. yeah, what, what she said today was, she thinks she's Maggie Thatcher, because she said there's nothing will convince her to change her mind. e have got to be medicines. I think she needs educating. I think she does. A lot. I think she does. As much as possible. Yeah. Emails, tweets, phone she calls at 3 o'clock in the morning. She gives redheads a bad name. She, she does, does give redheads a bad she name. Gives she gives really bad name. Well, hers is out of a bottle, so is yours. Um, right. 
Where were we at? What were we going to do? Oh yes, it's it's a packed show tonight. But those of you that were here a fortnight ago will remember. Oh yes. That tonight, da da da, Daz has got the table in front of him. Look at his little face. There's the table. There's the table in front of Daz, and there's Daz. Where is he? There's Daz <coughs> in the corner. Looking at the table, with all because of his, all of his accoutrements, he's got all his, he has, he's got all of his accoutrements. So he has the lad's got all the because tonight, live. And when you should have a drum roll, yes, I should have a drum yes. roll tonight. <coughs> live, <coughs> Daz is gonna be <coughs> re wicking and recoiling an Arga T. Round of applause and a cheer, everybody! Yay! <laughs> so Daz. Do you, want to, do you want to talk everybody through? Do you want to start now? Yeah, I might as well get but, out of the way because I've got nothing to vape on until, <laughs> until I get there you it go. done. Now, I should, I'll, and before we get there, I'm going to tell everybody we'll put five minutes aside. <laughs> put five minutes aside for this. Here we go. Uh, look, everybody's there. Hey, everybody's there. Everybody's rooting for you. Yes, funny tricks to <laughs> say. <laughs> Is it the longest show tonight? Yeah, I hope you're not says we'll night. be here all night. It, yeah. it, no, it'll be, it'll be canny. It'll, it'll be canny. Be and you, I don't know why you've come up in the corner. Are you ready then, Daz? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay then, Daz. It's over to you. So tell everybody what you're going to do. Right. So I'm going to be re-wigging and coiling the auger tea. And I'm kind of like, I've done one practice run um, on something else. And I'm kind of good because this is a pretty decent wicked coil what's in it now, so God only knows what it's going to be like. But no, so I'm just going to show because I know a lot of people in chat... On camera, on camera. Yeah, I know a lot of people in chat have said about hotspots and I find the most common hotspot to forward, be... Forward, forward, forward. Sorry, I okay. Think, I find the most common hotspot to be here between the, the wick and the, the centre post. Um and you'll notice that this coil started to slacken off at the top a little bit and that's where i've had the most common problem with the hot spot it's terrible when your coil goes slack Keith. it is it's, it's really it, yes. bad when you get yes. it so what i'm doing is i've just took the wick out You're taking the wick out Keith. and i'm just right. gonna god dave you put the screw on tight when you put I the put it on tight you did because you didn't. i haven't touched this since you I'm too you strong for it. late work. I could never. I don't think he's trying to sabotage this. No, this um, what I'm doing at the minute, Keith, is I'm removing the old coil. So that's it. That is the old wicking coil gone. So what I'm going to do is I need a firm base. I'm just going to screw that on there. Right, at this point, Keith, we need to sit and go ding a ding a ding a ding Right, okay, so... Don't snap it off, there's a reason for it being like that. You've got all the way you need hanging out of there, leave it on the reel, it's easier. I don't follow. Right, don't try snapping it off, leave it on the reel, then it's easier to work with. Right, okay. Use all of that wire, don't, don't worry about wasting them. Right, okay. So I'm going to start with winding the coil. So I want, I have a, uh, five wraps. So, sorry, I know I keep it's going right, off the okay. camera. There you go. I've got your back on camera now. Right. Two, three, four, five. So that's five wraps, and what I'm going to do is bunch them together, uh -huh. and it makes them a bit looser as well. And then what I want to do is I want to put that. I'm sticking my tongue out while I'm doing this. I know it's on camera. So I want to put that in the. Just leave that, and then what I'm going to do, because I'm aware of this reel. I'm going to take my scissors. I've just noticed that nail after you've done that. Was that the nail that you give us for about the... Oh, never mind. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut, snip that off there, and I don't need that anymore. So because I've got plenty slack, one, one of the things that I was doing when I first started doing this was I wasn't giving enough slack on the wire. I was winding winding it too tight around this centre post. So 
there's it wrapped around the centre post and I'm just going to tighten that up. Bearing in mind I'm not looking to chat because I don't want to be put off. Mono Mac has asked why doesn't anybody use bloody nippers because scissors are handy. Scissors are handy and scissors cut the wire just as well. A decent pair of scissors will cut the wire. I use, I never use nippers. I just use scissors. Well I would have used nippers but nippers wouldn't lend us them. Is that right? I the lead singer in the Dirty South, nipper. Neil Snips, whip it up 69 says. Right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Where's my screwdriver gone? It's there somewhere. Have you dropped it? Where's that gone? Oh, no. Oh, it's there. <laughs> it's in here. <laughs> it's in here. <coughs> Thank you. Go okay, that's so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten that screw. See, that's why you shouldn't use the screwdriver for putting the coil in. And as long as it's connected at the bottom, you're fine. You don't have to wrap it right round the screw. As long as you've got a connection, mm -hmm. that's the main thing. Is it tight enough? And it's tight enough. Yeah. Okay, so I've wrapped that round the centre post and I've wrapped that round the screw. And what I'm going to do now is ever so gently is I'm going to take, remove that from that, that the, looks canny. the hole. So more or less you want the coil to be perfectly in line with the, the hole which I was getting completely wrong in the early days and then I had a be wick was ended up going over that way. So, God, is it hot in here? No. Right. So what I want to do now is I just want to test to make sure that this coil works. So I'm just going to put it on the EVIC. We can tidy that up later, but right now we want to make sure that the coil's working. So I just want to screw that onto the EVIC. I've put you on the big, big close up you can for you now. So right. You so I'm screwing that on the EVIC. And then I just want to make sure that we've got nothing touching. And I want to make sure that's nice and tight. Yes, it is. All good. Just give me a second here. There we go. All good. Right. So what I'm going to do now... Close you up, you come again. Upy. Close you up, you come. So what I'm going to do now when I get it in is I just want to pulse it. Getting it in shot. Oh, it's in shot. Then I side with down a bit and forward, and that'll it. do. And I I'll just want to pulse it. Just look at the screen while I'm doing it. That's it. I just want there to pulse it. And what we're looking for is the entire coil to be glowing. And what that's going to do is put a coating on the coil. That looks good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Excellent. It wasn't an oxidised coil whip it up 69, but by the time he's finished pulsing it, it will be. Look at that. That looks pretty even. That looks me? pretty good. Blazing. Yeah, absolutely happy with that. So now you know you've got a nice even coil and got a coating on it. What we're going to do now is we're going to sort the wick. So here's your mesh. Which... <laughs> okay. Here's the mesh. If there was going to be a mistake, that was the mistake, thank God. <laughs> So here's the mesh, it's already been pre-cut, thank you very much to Dave. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll it. So I'll just pop it in here just to start <coughs> the process off. And I just want to roll it round. I find it easier just... You roll, you roll it like you roll a rolly, don't you? Well, no, actually, I roll it like that. Put it on camera so I can see. I roll it like that. Okay, okay. now how tight's that? I've never seen that method before. Between your hands? Not like that, no. That's a new one on me. I'll be interested to see how it works. Just keep rolling it, keep rolling it until you've got something like that. There, look at that, eh? That's neat as a neat thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit, Dad, so everybody can see how neat that is. You can and what you'll see, and what you'll see as well, I mean, basically, if it's not... If it's too thick, because I'm about to put it in the coil, you will need to unravel and cut a bit more off and then just do the same thing. But hopefully, that will just go in the coil. And it does. Look at that. Sorry, just let me get... Yeah, you need to say what you're looking at, don't you? Yeah, let me just get that. 
Is it a bit wide? It's not, it's, it's, oh, I've knocked the coil. What are you doing? <laughs> I've pulled it too far. Oh no. Oops. Just bear with me a second. It's all right. No, I haven't knocked the coil. It just needs to save a little just bit. Just wants winding a bit tighter, that uh, mesh, I think, does. Yeah. I'm going to try and, what I'm going to do is, here at this point, is I'm just going to twist it and keep twisting it because the mesh is stuck on the coil a bit. There we go. So it's out and the coil's not bad. I think it's probably saveable. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And what I'll do is I'll just roll it a bit more. Right. And we'll try it again. I'm going to try it this way. Try putting the other end in first, is it? Yeah, there we go. There's the narrow end. Okay, I'll so once I've got the wick in, I'm going to sort the coil out once I've got the wick in. Because you'll notice that the wick, the wicks at the minute is obscure. Well, actually, no, they can't see. So, there you go. There we go. So you'll notice that the wick might be a bit obscure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fiddle about with this wick for a second. Skew shaking hands. It's all right. Oops. This is concentration. How far are you off the bottom? Uh, I'm about a couple of mil off the bottom. Ah, oh, you've got enough then. Yeah. So, yeah, I've managed to save the coil. It's fine. Okay, so... I've got something like that right now, and that's how much I've got, if you can see. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's how much I've got off the bottom, and that's what it's looking like so far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to coat it. I'm going to coat the wick and the coil, just to make sure that we'll get no hot spots whatsoever. And what we'll also want is to try and have a bit of a bit of slack with the coil. So that cut that uh, with the wick so that wick freely turns around the coil mm -hmm. okay so that you'd be able to, if you if you need to burn the crud off the coil that you can easily take the wick out which again when i first did the first two that's what i struggled with because the, it was too tight so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take a bit of juice that was a child proof lid wasn't it it was david proof as well and apparently proof. does proof yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to coat this coil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulsing it. Do you know, it does sound dirty. So straight away, we've got a hot spot. Well, you will, yeah. Go on. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it. Just a little bit in the day. <coughs> That's it. And I'm going to put a bit more juice on. I'll just keep turning it does. Right. And again. Good long go. And again. Ah, oh, it's getting there. Can you see it growing? Yeah. There you go. There we go, it's going. And you want to keep doing it until you get the whole coil coated. Nearly that. Three turns out and count. How many have we got on there? Five? Uh, five, yeah. Two well, actually, it might be four. I'm not sure. I it just depends really on see. where you're looking at it from. Yeah. But I've got four now. Is that it? Just let me... Yeah, I think oh, that's it. it. just caught again. Yeah. Go and give it another pulse. Pardon me. Yeah, it needs another turn. There we go. Go on. Ooh, nearly. There we go. Is that the whole of the coil glowing there? Yeah. Whole of the coil. Right, now stick some juice on it. There we go. 
We had vapor. And no hotspots. The hotspot hot free zone. No hotspots. Look at Look that. At that. Wow. Round of applause in chat, please. No hotspots whatsoever. We have vapor that is ready to go, that is filled. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to snip it off, tidy it up now. I'm amazed. That's brilliant. Well done. No, I've, and I've, I've got to be honest, I did set this up to be a bit of a swine, if I'm to be truthful. Because it's not easy to do live. It's not easy to do not no, live. No, it's not. And I'm going to cut it just above. Look at all this. Well done. Thank you, chat. Look at that. Well done, Daz. <laughs> well done, Daz. Well done. Where? Well, well done. Well done. I think a lot of people thought you wouldn't be able to do it, you know. <laughs> I never thought that for one minute. And then <laughs> You're seeing I'm that just now, Keith. Fill, it well. and then <coughs> fill that back up. Let's go to camera one so people can see. He's got a geek. That's a geek big syringe, that geek one. Big, not as big as Kat's. No. I think Kat holds the record for the biggest syringe. I was sticking it now, Joe. seen that. Fill it right yeah. up the top. Give, the, give that wick best chance. See, this is why I get snipe nose bottles. Yeah, I didn't I didn't yeah. have any. Uh, well, no, none spare. They, they all had something in. So, because this was a batch I made yesterday. All ah, right, I see. See, mixing me own, making mixing me own, your own juice, coils, winding your own know. coils. Good Lord above. I'm stunned and shocked. Fills it up. Look at that. Oh, I'll just stick that back in there. Waste not, what not. Pop me lid on. Pop your lid on. And what uh, what resistance is your coil? 2.7. Get in. That is brilliant. Well done, Daz. Look at that. Well, that's really impressive. I tell it? you what, I'm over the moon with that, and it's yeah. working. Gives a blasting on it. What? Oh God, no! No, that's apple caramel. It is, is it? Yes. Apple Very caramel. Good. Apple caramel. Apple gunny. Yes. If you want any made, you're going to have to wait till I order some more PG, though. <laughs> apple caramel. Apple caramel. Try that, Keith, on a Daz coil. That's cracking. Go to Keithy Cam. There you are. That's mm. nice juice as well. Yeah. It is nice juice. That's apple caramel and ethyl malt oil. It's what cat. You uh, can't beat a bit of ethyl malt oil. It's, it's lovely stuff, ethyl malt oil. It's brilliant. I, I like the smell of it on its own. I like a mother and all, yeah. Mavis. <laughs> Mavis, Mavis and ethyl malt oil. Mavis right, and ethyl malt oil. Lovely <laughs> couple. Lovely <laughs> couple. To, while, while Keith's uh, busily trying to empty Daz's tank. It's got uh, a sort of bonfire taste to that's it. That's probably just because it, they're having a um, mm. new wick and coil on it. Uh, well, you know, that hasn't taken you long. It hasn't? No, not really. It hasn't taken long <coughs> at all. Right, I see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well done. Put it there. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. That. We'll take some adverts and give Daz time to get his nerve back and get a bit of nicotine into him. That was brilliant. Well done, mate. That's brilliant. We'll be yes. back in a couple of ticks. <laughs> Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Out.
and we are back in the room i'm i'm thrilled with that i am and there's been all kinds of uh, comments in chat <laughs> loads and loads of congratulations for daz and even in our, our private skype chat mr dibley's come in with a well done daz so and, and i've got to say that the arga t was that an arga t or it's a t2? A t2 the arga t2 does have the reputation for being a bit of a bitch to get can i say that yeah, it's in the uh, English dictionary. Yeah. Oh, well, fair enough. It's 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 a bit of a bitch to, to, to actually not get hotspots with. But you were saying the, the last one you did, you, you tried it, it worked well. Yeah, it did. And only because um, when you when you put your your wig in, and that's, that's the way that I had got it round, what you should do is when you put the wig in, the coil, what you want to be doing is you want to pulse it pulls the coil and keep turning the wick ever so slightly until the whole coil glows. Once the whole coil glows, then put your juice on it, and then you shouldn't have any hot spots. Exactly right, exactly right. It's it's a technique uh, I picked up a little while ago, and it, it, I'd, I'd been wondering for donkey's ages why we were getting hot spots. And then I worked it out, and, and some folks might remember I'd put bits of cling film around the wick to stop it from connecting onto the deck. Yeah. Right. And if you if you do the method that Daz has just done, what you're doing is you're stopping the coil from welding to the mesh. Mm. And if you stop the coil from welding to the mesh, it's 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 actually not quite touching the mesh because mm -hmm. if you can slide it in and out, there's a little bit of a gap, <clears throat> and it heats the it heats the stuff up. But did you know? You won't know this, but did you know you can get wire rope? I heard about it in chat or somewhere <clears throat> the other day Why you wrong? and i'd never heard of is so is that like kind of like silica but like pre-made wick sort of thing no 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 it's like wire rope right do you want to know more yes see you know mark jones don't you yes mg jones 74 yes he's been playing with it has he he has and you know what he's like. Yeah. He's dead good. He, he explores things to the nth degree. <laughs> so he said he had some. So I asked him, would he vi do a video on it? So this is wire rope. And I've learned all kinds while I've been watching this as well. This is Mark with wire rope. What, it, it's fascinating. It's like, it's like Bowden cable, brake lever cable. Right. Well, you'll see. I was asked recently about this stuff, stainless steel rope wick, and I've currently tried two different sizes. This is a 3mm and a 2mm. They're both seven bundles of 19 strands. I've found so far the 3mm is just too much metal basically. Uh, it seems to cool things down too much so. I won't be using that one, plus it's really hard to cut. Instead, I'll be concentrating on the 2mm, which is what will fit most atomizers and seems to work rather well. So, my first job is to cut it to size, so I'm going to put in the did, as I know it will fit easily. There's more than enough room in there. So I'm going to measure it to the top of the connecting post and I just cut it with a pair of snips it is not the easiest thing in the world to cut, you do have to put quite a bit of pressure on but if you squeeze hard enough it will just cut away so there you have it now, the thing I really need to do with this is to oxidise it. Well, I say oxidise it, I need to burn it because I need to burn off any impurities that are on the wire in the in between the strands, things like that. Because this stuff is a commercial product, it's not designed for any sort of food use or anything like that. So there's going to be oil and residue, what have you, on it. And that's not very good for vaping really. So, what I'm going to do is just burn it till it glows. 
in the blowtorch or you could use it on the cooker hob which is easier to be honest but I can't move all this to the cooker Just heat it in the flame. Although it's not going to show very well on the camera. Well, under these bright lights. All I want to do is just get it to glow completely all the way along. And when I've done one end, I'll turn it around and do the other exactly the same way. All I'm doing is just basically cleaning it, getting rid of anything that could be unpleasant to taste. So I'll just do that and I'll do the other side and back. So that burning is basically all the treatment I'm going to do with this. I know some people on the forums have boiled them in all sorts, but I haven't found any of that necessary. A good burn seems to clear off anything untoward there. So that's pretty much ready to use, except I'm going to add a small piece of stainless steel mesh to the top where I'm going to be wrapping the coil. Uh, a, because I found it to make it easier, and B, this seems to conduct electricity rather well, and I get nothing but shorts if I try it without this. So just a small wrapper on the top. Um, just quickly quickly he says. Never works on camera, does it? Quickly wrap it around there. Just a simple point just to give it somewhere to go to. And once again, I'm going to burn this. Again, I like to do this just to get rid of any impurities that we've collected on it. rather than any sort of oxidization in particular. I just feel it works cleaner this way. And that should pretty much be enough. Of course, the stainless steel conducts heat incredibly well, so I need to give it a second to cool in. It also seems to hold the heat a lot more. So all I'm going to do is pop it into the device, like so. It's just a simple matter of just wrapping a coil. I'm going to use a 0.4mm flat cancel for this. So I just pop it under the negative screw, tighten that down. And because this is a solid stainless steel sort of thing, it is quite stiff, so I can just wrap it in place. And it will hold rather nicely. Uh, I can pull as tight as I like because there's nothing to compress or anything like that. So I can end up with a nice coil which is firmly seated against the metal. So in good contact, so it should wick well.
and final two back underneath. And that should be pretty much ready to go. That coil is coming out at 1.4 ohms. But there's a couple of the coils are touching, they're probably going to change now. Pushing the button, as you can see, it's heating up. Oh, I can't see, as the case may be. It heats up very uh, quite slowly compared to a stainless steel mesh wick. That's actually a 1.2 ohm coil now. <laughs> well, that's basically all there is to it. I'm holding the button down and there's no hot spots. It's just heating up nicely. So I'll give it a couple more presses and I'll just fill it up and use it. That's about it. I suppose to give you a better idea how it's working, I should add a bit of juice to the car so you can see it better. And hopefully, as you'll be able to hear and see, it's burning rather nicely. In Ten seconds. One thing I have noticed is it takes maybe half a second to heat up the to a normal temperature compared to a stainless steel mesh. So you might want to press the button before you get it to your mouth, basically. But once it does heat up, it works beautifully. And wicks amazingly. And that yeah. that's that's marked with the rope. Yeah. And it, it's funny actually. There was there was a few comments coming up from chat which Mark's been answering all the way through. And there was one or two people saying, "Well, if you're going to wind mesh around the top, why not just use mesh?" Well, Chris, Cat, we've got her on a, a little Skype call down here, and she's saying, and Mark's bearing this out, that rope wicks like a demon it really really feeds the juice mm. up so you've still got the the mesh as you would kind of have it but apparently the rope is wicking better than the mesh i'm gonna give it a try i've, I've got to give that a try yeah i mean fmrl's just brought up a point and he says if it's solid how does it work and i don't think it will be solid as such no it's not it'll be still be the fibers it's seven, I'm seven, seven 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 bundles of nineteen fibers, I think. Yeah, you and then like in base, so, so it's kind of like it's still like mesh in a sense. Well, it's it's well, yes. yeah, runs yeah, up, runs absolutely. Up the it's sort of more yeah. concentrated. Yeah. Mesh. Absolutely, yeah. So it's it you know with the channel because it would channel better. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, vape and Vikings saying he wouldn't touch it unless he knows it hasn't got lead in, which is fair enough. Right. Fair dues. I don't know whether they'll do it in food grade. I used to use that wire a lot. In the in the uh, the live sound arena because we use it to, to to stop speakers from falling on people's heads, if they get big bolts that you put in the sides fail, it's the fall arresters. That stuff, seriously, you could dangle an elephant off three millimetre. Mm -hmm. um, but there you go. I mean, now, is it likely to have lead in it? I would I think I would think it's most unlikely I because the, so. the way they've gone with the hazardous chemical stuff and hazardous ah, materials. Yeah. They're not putting lead in anything these days. I wouldn't have thought it was. I mean, it, it, it's it's affecting me. I haven't even got any lead in my pencil anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I might have known. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, M G Jones, all if you want to bring that to the knees, beat, I would definitely be interested to have a closer look at it. That's the one. Kronos has come up with it. R O H S, a th thingy doodah of hazardous substances. Yeah. Right. Or whatever it means. It's thingy doodah of hazardous substances, ROHS, that's what it is. There's lead in now, basically. No, lead in not note. nowadays. Um, we've got to go at the second lot of adverts. Already? Already, it's, yeah. it's now 9.40 and 58 yeah. seconds. Oh, God. <clears throat> so we'll take the second lot of adverts and when we come back, it'll all be smoke without fire. <laughs> I'm enjoying this tonight, it's brilliant. I'm learning stuff. See you in a couple of minutes.
Essex. Sponsors of the Hayes Hour. Yes, indeed. We would just be chatting about it, about the rope and, and, and stuff like that. And there's there's all kinds of reasons why it, it should be good. And I was just working, I mean, you know, I can't see it, um, what's the word, degrading very much. I mean, I reckon if you get six inches, it's going to last you for donkeys oh, young. Yeah. I can't see it fading no, out. It wouldn't degrade, would it? Can't, oh, not no. stainless steel. No. If it is proper stainless mm -hmm. steel. Hardly, yeah. yeah, it, yeah should be absolutely. Canny. it should be very, very canny. Now, I, I owe an apology to everybody watching this episode of the Here's Hour. I did say last week that I was going to take the, um, where is it, the Zorbas and stick it on uh, various different m meters and, and oscilloscopes and stuff like that. But I've got to be honest, with uh, everything I've been doing this week, I just have not had the chance to sit down with the cameras and the meters and get it all done. I will. But I will tell you, I've now tried it on about five different devices and this beast is kicking it out. I've now got it on a hyper cheap wall, mm. yes? And it's it's doing the biz, absolutely lush. What, you got that set on at the minute? It what? I think. I shall check. Well, you know how to check, you check. I'll go to close you up, you can. Do not knock your evic off. I'll pour it under there. Pour it under there. Right, if I remember rightly, it's all You need to get it further forward. Uh, right. That's so it. It was, uh, right. Three one presses and hold. Three. Oh. three presses and hold. No, missed. Go again. One. No, you're too quick. Oh. It's dit, dit, dit. Still missed. Still missed. Dit, dit, dit. <laughs> and again. Dit, dit, dit. Nah, do you want me to do it? It, it just will not have it. <laughs> right. It doesn't, it doesn't like me. <coughs> it only likes you. Where are we? Right. There it is. It's, it's kind of, uh, it's a stretch. Right. One, two, three. And you hold it. So we're on two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it is. Eight watts is where we're at. Aye. Eight watts. Hang on me back. Oh, my. Do you find <coughs> that you regularly, because I remember talking to you a while back and you said that you were finding that you were going down in watts, that you were finding it like less and less. I am. So... Would would the eight? Would you consider the same with the Zorbas then? Would you like before? Would you have vaped at a higher, at a higher wattage? Like say like ten. That's at eight watts. That's at eight. Have a blast of that at eight watts. See, it's still it's the best. It's just as everything. It I've never ever you had a device where it just hits the way it does. Mm. On flavor, on hit, on everything, even with the with with its uh, with its rival. It's you know? it, it it is it's doing an absolutely cotton job. Mm -hmm. But I will, I will, I will, I will get the measurements done. Um, I'm thinking there's not too much happening in Europe over the next few days, so I might get chance to get something done over the next few days. But I will try and get it done. If not for next week, for the week after. But I will get it sorted out. However. 
Have you seen what what Andy's been putting out with the Smoke Without Fire campaign? I have been following. Oh, I'm mm. telling you, man, there's some cracking videos, and yeah. I make absolutely no apologies for playing these <coughs> videos in. I think everybody needs to see them, and we need to get them sent off to everywhere. Now, did you know that the BBC and Sky, particularly, there's places where you can upload video. Mm. So if you've got a video downloader off mm. YouTube, get them down and upload them. Right. If, if 15,000 of us send them in. Oh, I'll, I'll do that. I've yeah. got a YouTube downloader. I'll so do he, that. he went to Wales, you know. Oh, he went to Wales. Everybody was wondering why Andy wasn't around for his show the first mm. bit. And, and he went to Wales. And this is, this is what yeah. happened. Have a watch it. I think this is brilliant. Here we go. My name's uh, Lee Wills. Um, I'm the managing director of Siggy Live in Cardiff on the High Street in Canton. A friend of mine who's actually involved in the business came across from uh, Romania um, two and a half years ago. Came down to Cardiff and presented me with the gift of an electronic cigarette. I just never smoked a cigarette again. Two weeks later, I'm on the phone to the guy saying, you know, come and see me. Let's do a business in the UK because no one's doing it here. And he came back across and here we are, two years later. I think uniquely for Siggy, we, we discovered sort of fairly, fairly quickly that within Cardiff, people were coming to our house and asking us for, um, for, for products on, on you know, all, all days, all, all times of the day, uh, including sort of Sunday evenings when we're trying to relax. And we thought, well, perhaps there's a way where we, we should perhaps have a physical presence where people can come and try uh, the different flavors, the different, the different mixes. And, and so we can try and find the best match for what they're currently smoking, whether it be a cigar or a, or a, or a silk cut or a Benson and Hedges. Um, to try and match the liquids to, to, to what they're getting from, from tobacco. And you can't do that online, it's impossible. There's no way of, of testing or trying products online. Uh, but by coming to a physical location, they can sit, have a consultation, and, and sort of leave with something which is a be the best sort of facsimile of a, of a, of a cigarette or, or a tobacco product that they're gonna find without buying uh, you know, that, that tobacco product. It's like smoking a normal cigarette, and uh, it's wonderful. It's really, really good. So I think this is going, definitely going to work. This is what I've been looking for. Originally, I just pooed the idea. I just thought, yeah, it's not for me. But I had to give up because I was having an operation. So I thought, well, I'll give it a go. So I came down, and the best thing I ever done. And I haven't had a cigarette in four months. I don't think I have had a customer that hasn't been successful vaping and they come in the following week because I tell them it, it's, <coughs> you come in to see me next week, I know that you'll do really well and they can't the race here to come and tell me that they've done really well, so I'm pleased. <laughs> I think that if you do it properly and you're doing it face to face, you're engaging the customer, you're creating brand loyalty, so I, I think the face to face experience is, is paramount. I started smoking when I was 13 and I smoked with determination for 50 odd years. So the price went up, I was retired, I thought, well, I'll try the electronic cigarette, and what I'll do is I'll use that during the day, and then I'll have proper cigarettes in the evening. And, and I got it, and I thought, why am I bothering with the ordinary cigarettes? Why am I bothering with tobacco cigarettes? because this gives me absolutely everything that a tobacco cigarette gives me and it doesn't do me any harm. Probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me. All there is in there is propylene glycol and nicotine. It's not only 200 other chemicals, so how can they be harmful to you? As a, as a, you know, as a, as a retailer, we have a policy, we operate a policy of uh, if you look under 21, you know, you've got to prove that you're 18 to, to, to purchase. And we turn people away, we, we turn customers away who are 17, but they're still smokers. The biggest success rate that we have with our customers uh, by far are people that, that, that start with tobacco flavours and then eventually end up with, 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 a, with a different flavour, something which isn't available in tobacco. Thank you so much. There's lots of people, they like the blueberry, they like cherry. Uh, what difference does that make? It's not, nothing to do with your health, is it? You know, it's not harm, harmful to you. If you take up electronic cigarettes, you start with tobacco. Because tobacco is what you used to and what you like. But actually, it's an acquired taste. It doesn't really, really taste very nice. So after a while, you go on to the flavours. And once you're on the flavours, 
you don't really want to go back to the tobacco taste. And I can't see any child wanting to buy one of these, which is £39. How are they? I, no, I, I can't get my head around that one. What the, they don't realise is that smokers actually enjoy smoking. They really do. Are you getting on over there? Our, our vapors, uh, they've written to their MEPs, they've, they've written to, to, to their local MPs as well. Um, they're very vocal um, about the, uh, the fact that they don't want the, the liberty, that they feel that this is their right. Here comes something that is 95% at least healthier, and they say, oh my goodness, this is bad. And, and they'll, they'll get in, involved in, in, any, um, in any political um, motion or any, anything that, that'll keep them off, off the cigarettes, motivates them greatly. Um, so yeah, they're, they're very, very passionate, passionate people. Passionate about staying off tobacco, basically. Oh, wonderful. <laughs>
You're going to fly back, are you? I'll fly back. Good yes. lad, that's what we like to hear. That's what we like ah, to hear. Ah, we've been until the following week. Now, while, while that was playing, again, I'm reading chat tonight, so I get, you know, I get distracted when I'm reading chat, but the, I can't even scroll back. Um, talking about shop, about who needs to see videos like that and how can you get it to the BBC. If you go to the bbc.co.uk website, and in the news section, it has tell us a story yeah it does and you click on that link and it tells you all the ways that you can tell them a story including uploading a video and you just click on the upload a video and send it and you can uh, not the link to it you'd have to download it first and i don't know whether andy's going to make them available for download if he is that'll be brilliant you can download it and send it to the bbc send it to sky send it to every if you if you're on other forums you know if you're on a fluffy bunny forum or a uh, uh, uh we we keep rabbits forum or a we go cycling or fishing or what the hell ever it is, post it. Just just post it. Some people will see it. And with a little bit of luck, it'll all go viral. It, people need to see all of this kind of stuff. They really do. There's another one as well from Jean-Francois Etter. Have you seen that one? No. Oh, have we got time? We're not going to have time to play no. it in. There's not going to be time to play it in, which is a hell of a shame. Because the, the Jean-Francois Etter one is... But look, go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. Mm. And, and do a search on SWAF or Smoke Without Fire and it'll take you there. And we've got links to it on the website as well and it's on all the forums. Just go and have a look at the videos and tell everybody. Send everybody you know a link to all of the videos. Go everywhere. No, not a shop. DV me. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And I see, I see now uh, everybody's getting on to Safer Six to see open shops in Bristol and places like that. Because the, the, the Safer Six shop, that's there as well. All of this, it's mm. all there. Yeah. It's all there. Go and have a look. And, and, and just send, email them to everybody. MEPs, MPs particularly, get on your MPs. Put a little cover and letter and ask them to go and watch the videos. They will, they do, because we can track where it's been at. And I can see how many people in Brussels have been watching stuff we've been doing. And they are watching it. So get it going. Yes, Whip It Up 69 said YouTube downloader. A YouTube yep. downloader will work. Yes. YouTube will tell you it won't, but it will. Pardon it will. me, I'm burping here. Until it loads. Too much Diet Coke. It's got caffeine in, you know, Diet Coke. That makes it a coffee product, according to Glenis Wilmot. Oh, <laughs> DMB. Yeah. She's got no idea, that woman. Oh. <sighs> and uh, what's that? There's a nice little vape install in the galleries at Washington. Does? Yes. We will that have a trip that. down? We're That's gonna have true. to have a trip down, definitely. We'll have a trip down. Yeah. I'll see if I can get uh, Mrs. Wilmington Smythe Minge Pugh Critchley. That come. would be a very good. It's see if a daughter would like to join us. Her as wonderful well. daughter, Regina. Yes, yes, yes. That would be marvellous, wouldn't Fabulous. it? We'll do that. Yes. And on <laughs> that note, dear viewer, <laughs> have you not met Mrs. Uh, Wilmington Smythe Minge Pugh Critchley uh, and her I lovely daughter, I Regina? No, oh, no. oh, you're in for a treat. Oh, uh, Regina's marvellous. Yes. She had a funny nickname at school. They called our wizard sleeve. I've got no idea why. And uh, on that note, dear but viewer, I think we'd probably better go. Otherwise, you know where the conversation is <laughs> going to get to. Um, so we'll, we'll remind you that there's no show on Saturday. Dave Kitson will be back on Sunday. And then you've got Tim, your tip on Monday. You've got Marco Van Basten with Vapor Saint on Tuesday. And then VT Talks back next Wednesday. Until then, from all of us here and from everybody on the VT TV team, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Vip on, vip hard. Enjoy your life. See you later. Ta bye, bye bye. Bye bye.